It is no secret that adding vocals to your track is a great way to elevate your music. But unfortunately for those, like myself, that are vocally challenged, we're forced to find alternative ways to add vocals to our tracks. And today I've got a very unique, easy way to not only add vocals to my tracks, but add my own vocals to my tracks. And that'll be by creating my vocal loop using a studio. Then we can jump on into control of voice where we can swap those vocals with my own trained vocal model. So let's go and do that right now. Here's the track I'll be using for today. Alright, the track is sounding really good so far, but now it's time to go into A-Studio and get our vocal loop. I right, now go and put my instrumental on the timeline of A-Studio, and I'll put down the first clip right here. And now it's time to go get our custom singer here for this track, which I want to be in English. I want a male, and I think right here the best one should be David. Let's go and drag that on into the singer track. Alright, now looking down below over here, this is where we're going to create our melodies and add our lyrics. Going to the draw note tool, and we can draw in our melody like that. And then we can double click right here and type something else in for the lyrics. Then we can go the night. And you basically go through this entire process here by typing in the different melodies here and filling in the lyrics with those notes. Now this part here can get pretty time consuming, filling in the different lyrics with the different notes and finding the right melody for your track. I've already got lyrics that I want to use here, so it's just a matter of finding the right melody and putting them in. So I'm going to cut to when that's all done and show you guys what we have. In the haze of the night i think of you lost in the echoes of love your ghost lingers in the corners of my mind every memory of us shattered and then from there, instead of creating like 16 plus bars of different vocals, I got kind of lazy, joined a melody, and then just added some la la la's in there, and this is what it sounds like. Da okay, and then finally, I added a female vocalist in the higher registry using the Bianca model. In the haze of the night. I think of you. And that's gonna be a bit more tucked in the background of our lead vocals there. But now that we've got everything that we need, let's go and export this and swap it out with my vocals using Controller Voice. Now, in a previous video about Controller Voice, I trained my very own vocal model so I could use it whenever I wanted to swap out some other vocals for my own. So, using the Brett model over here, we can select our lead vocals right there. And it's a clean vocal loop over here, so we won't need to remove any instrumentals, background vocals, or reverb. And it's already in a male registry, so I'm going to leave it at the pitch that it's at. I don't need to go up or down an octave. And all the advanced settings look fine right there hit swap voices and while we wait for that right over there let's go back and choose a different female vocal model let's try out lola seems good and try our female higher registry vocals or background vocals as it's probably more commonly called the background vocals that we created with a studio sounded great they're just a little bit too disney ish so hopefully swapping those out with the lola model might help out with that but our loop is done over here let's hear what that sounds like in the haze of the night I think of you, lost in the echoes of love. Do you guys really see how adding the vibrato there made it sound way more natural? Uh, I am very impressed with this. There's no way in a million years that would ever sound this good, but that is going to be the magic of controller voice. So let's go ahead and give that one a download and go check on our backing vocals over here as well. <laughs> Much better. Wow. Oh yeah, way more Lost modern. In the echoes of love. Wow, it's really sick. Okay, yeah, we're gonna download that one too. That's insane. All right, now let's go over to FL Studio over here and check it out. Let's put in our lead vocals right there and our backing vocals right there. So now, not only do we have an amazing vocal loop to put on there, it's using my voice. And now we get to add all the different creative effects that we want to. And I have this idea to actually fade everything in a little bit. So let's go ahead and cut off this right there. Let's go and add these onto some mixer tracks right here, some delay and some reverb here. Let's see how those vocals are working on that track now. Love your ghost lingers in the 
Okay, so I am thoroughly impressed with what we've seen here today. What I love about this with the whole A Studio controller voice combination here is that you can really feel like it's your complete own vocal loop. You're not using somebody else's vocals that you're then swapping, which you can absolutely do as well. But here I created the entire melody, all the lyrics, and then swapped that with my voice using my own trained model. It's just something that's completely my own, which I think is really, really cool to add in my own music. Even if you have no desire to use your own vocals in your music, there's so many other models that you could use that come inside of Controller Voice or even train somebody else's model so you could use their vocals in your track. Because Ace Studio and Controller Voice, one deadly combo. If you want to go see what else is possible with Controller Voice, I'll leave a link down below in my description.